over the scene of what appears to be a situation there on the roadways. Uh, good. Oh, it's almost afternoon, the almost the noon hour here. We are in Skyforce HD over a police pursuit here. This is a police vehicle, a uh, uh, motorman following along with a county vehicle, following a red uh, car that's believed to have been involved in a shooting that occurred in Hollandale about uh, 10 minutes ago or so. Uh, they put out a description of that vehicle and it was spotted on I-95 up there in Hallandale. Uh, the address they gave me was 916 Northwest 10th Street. A double shooting occurred there uh, in front of a residence and uh, the vehicle that fled fits this description. Uh, the uh, police officers are following now. They've been trying to get the vehicle to stop here on I-95. It is in the HOV lanes. Let me bring, brighten the camera up there a little bit for you as it continues southbound here. Uh, that's the extent of the information that we have is that they are trying to get the vehicle to stop. The Broward Sheriff's Office asked for assistance from the county and from uh, other agencies down here in Miami as the vehicle fled out of their jurisdiction. You can see right now we have a, um, a Miami-Dade cruiser there along with a uh, uniformed police officer on his motorcycle and the red vehicle, the red vehicle in question. Now there's another vehicle there, that uh, Challenger or Charger right there that's adjacent to the vehicle, trying to get that vehicle to slow down. It is. It does fit the description of the vehicle that they were looking for. Uh, there were supposed to be two occupants in that uh, vehicle, and now, uh, and now they're paralleling that vehicle. And uh, if, if you give me one second here, just to regroup a little bit and uh, get my scanner back up a little bit higher, I can find out exactly. But they are, they are going to follow this vehicle. They are trying to get the vehicle to stop. It is now pulling over. And it's uh, uh, doing a lane change here. Now we have one vehicle in front of it and uh, several vehicles behind it. They are trying to get it to stop here. We are at about uh, 62nd Street, a little south of 62nd. I'm looking out my window here. Actually make it about 46th Street, stopping in the middle. We got a bailout, uh, one person there uh, being pursued now by the police. They're taking off after him. The other person has stayed in the vehicle. We've got police officers chasing. He jumped over the uh, guardrail here and uh, flipped down off the embankment here. We've got some other officers. It looks like he's been tased or he's hurt himself uh, jumping off that uh, over that ledge right there. Joe, can we slide back just a touch? And we have one guy, and uh, he's, he's uh, incapacitated here on the ground just outside of the I-95 Expressway. Approximately, we're going to uh, revise our address here. We're going to put it closer to 25th Street or 26th Street. And I-95, you see the two uh, Miami-Dade police officers there trying to clear the hurdle of the fence. Uh, we're going to uh, put our extender in here and zoom in a little bit more. You can see the guy laying on his side right there. Uh, it appears to be, as we said, incapacitated. I don't know whether he injured himself jumping over or whether he was tased by the police as they went over. We lost uh, our location there for a second as they. Uh, he's got his hands raised. He's complying with police orders to uh, give himself up. We're going to stay with this shot for a second uh, just to tell you that traffic is ground to a halt on I-95 southbound. Uh, this all happening in about the last 10 minutes out of Hallandale. As we said, there was a shooting, a double shooting occurred uh, in, at that location. Uh, the location I gave you, 916 or 996, I'm sorry, Northwest 10th Street in Hallandale. And uh, the vehicle fled the area. The, the shooters uh, believed to be in, in that car. They got a description of the vehicle. They boloed it out, which is a be on the lookout for that uh, for that uh, vehicle that was spotted on I-95. Broward Sheriff's Office was following, asked for assistance from the county. You saw the takedown live here on WSCN. And uh, that's pretty much what we have for you right now. All right, Ralph, just to recap then what we've seen in the last couple of minutes, because it has been a lot in a very short amount of time. You say that this started as a double shooting in Hallandale on 996 Northeast Northwest 10th Street. Then this police pursuit ensued on I-95. Now, in that vehicle, were there two people or just the one that we saw bail out? Well, we have another one in handcuffs right here, so we're going to go with two for now. Those are the we saw the uh, uh, one person bail out there where uh, they look like now they're going to be processing him and getting him in the back of a police car. You can see the roadway here, colors. Actually, we've got a third suspect here. I was going to call them suspects or subjects as they're taken into custody by police. So you've got one being put in the back of car number 19434, and you've got one leaning over the back of car 17268, and then the third uh, person is over here uh, in the tall grass where these uh, other vehicles stopped right here. They're standing over the guy right now. I, we understand that fire rescue has been called uh, to the scene here uh, to uh, render aid in, in this uh, because there may be an injury uh, to one of these people that uh, fled from the police when that vehicle stopped right in the middle of I-95.
Yeah, and just thinking about how it all ended right there when that vehicle stopped in the middle of 95 with traffic still going, no other vehicles were involved in any type of accident or anything as this came to an end? Uh, well, you know, uh, we, we kind of trained the uh, camera off of that activity to follow the person running, but right now, let me just bring the camera back out here and show you. You can see there's traffic that is stopped here and backs up from about 25th Street here just to uh, before the 112 Expressway on the south side of it. So there is traffic there. There are a lot of onlookers now, and uh, police are trying to process this as quickly as possible. Of course, this becomes a... I guess a part of a crime scene here is they uh, t t took uh, several subjects in custody right here when they took them out of this red vehicle, including the one that ran over the uh, over the embankment there, jumped over the embankment and ended up uh, laying on his back here, the guy in the white and the blue. There are two officers now with him in custody. And uh, back to you guys. And Ralph, we see that there are three suspects there in police custody. The other two, did they stay in the car? They apparently did not try to run? Well, the, again, we were following the other activity, so that when the cameras, wherever the cameras trained is where we're looking, we saw the one person jump out when we swung the camera back over. Both of them were in handcuffs, appeared to be complying with police, so they may have decided it was not a good idea to flee there in the middle of I-95 uh, during regular traffic hours there. So they, uh, they were, but they were taken into custody and being processed as we swung the camera back over there. Ralph, okay, as you stay with us, it has certainly been a busy day in the 7 Newsplex and a busy day for you. Uh, it started with that traffic nightmare that we covered earlier today, and now this on I-95. Just to recap, for those of you who might be joining us at this hour, a double shooting on Hallandale Beach at 996 Northwest 10th Street. Then police issue a be on the lookout for an ending to all this uh, on 95 southbound at 26th Street, roughly, and there you see that suspect now in police custody as well. In all, we're talking about three people in police custody at this hour. Their role in all of this, the bigger picture, that's still unclear, but we can certainly tell you what a mess. At this point, really just picking up information, trying to get details to be able to report them to you. All right, Brandon, we appreciate that. Keep gathering details for us on that end. And in the meantime, you're looking at live pictures on your screen. Seven News at noon on the scene of a developing story. Several people in custody at this hour after what started as a shooting ends with a chase, then a bailout. Now three people in custody as we continue to sort through the details of all this. Seven's Ralph Rayburn was there when it started and is here now to fill us in on more. Ralph. Well, uh, uh, let's just uh, backtrack and tell you that on our way to the, uh, the tanker accident, which was going to be our noon live shot, we heard a call and we shared that information with our Broward desk. Our desk uh, uh, heard the same information but, uh, and then diverted us uh, to head toward I-95, and we did. Uh, we could uh, hear, hear the chase coming southbound on the radio uh, for, through the Golden Glades interchange, and then as it approached 103rd Street, they uh, temporarily lost sight of that red vehicle that we showed you a little bit earlier. Uh, then the Broward Sheriff's Office got on the radio and said that they were behind the vehicle and uh, that it was refusing to stop. They asked, uh, requested uh, assistance from an aviation unit from the county. I don't know whether that unit ever launched or not, but uh, we were out there, we uh, saw the vehicle, the red vehicle, as it was described, coming southbound in the HOV lanes at a pretty good clip, a pretty high rate of speed there, uh, not complying with the officer who had the uh, uh, motorman who had his uh, lights and siren on and uh, uh, trying to get the uh, vehicle to pull over. It passed uh, 79th Street and went through, uh, by the 112 uh, in traffic, and then uh, the several other uh, Miami-Dade cruisers uh, pulled up one alongside of it, and then that one was able to get in front of it and force it out of the HOV lanes. It appeared for a moment that they were going to stop, but just pull off the side of the road and stop, but it stopped right in the middle of I-95, and the passenger side front door opened, and a uh, one of the uh, people inside that vehicle bolted into traffic and was nearly clipped by a vehicle uh, that was passing on the right-hand side there. Uh, the uh, uh, Occupants, the police occupants of the other the vehicles that were pursuing, uh, uh, got out of their vehicles and ran after that one suspect. As the other people that appear, appeared to remain in the vehicle, including the driver, uh, they were taken into custody. We saw them in handcuffs. In the meantime, the person that jumped out of the passenger side front seat. Uh, jumped over the guardrail and over the fence there on the retaining wall and tumbled down and we could not tell whether he because of the trees and the ground covering we couldn't tell whether or not he was injured from the fall 
call or if he just gave himself up. But he is in police custody now. He's being walked by police to a waiting police car here off the side of the roadway, off of I-95 at uh, approximately uh, 23rd or 24th Street on the uh, west side of I-95. Let's bring the camera back out here. They've been watching them process. Here on I-95, you can see traffic merging uh, to the uh, to the HOV lanes or to the center lanes there. We've got a one, two, three, four, four lanes of traffic that are blocked there. The red car remains in the middle of the road, and they're going to be processing. That's our story here at Skyforce HD. I'm Ralph Raven reporting live.